Recently on one of my YouTube videos, there was a comment that hydrogen peroxide does not remove mummified flesh and does not clean dirt off of bones. Um, so this is my little video to prove that hydrogen peroxide does remove mummified flesh and it does clean the dirt off of bones. Um, as you can see here, this is the last leg of a mujibak, and he was the mummified coyote that washed up on the local beach. Um, this leg has been outside for, for probably about three years with this really hard mummified tissue. Now, it is decomposing a lot, but I wanted to get this stuff off before the bone started to go back to the earth, because I want to rearticulate the mujibak into a full skeleton. So, his whole leg bones were covered in this tough mummified flesh here. I can't really scrape it. I probably shouldn't be scraping through gloves anyway, but he was covered in that. And if I can get the camera angle right without spilling peroxide everywhere. This is it here stuck on him and it's wiping off. That's stuck on mummified gunk has rehydrated and is just wiping off with my finger except for the parts of him that were above the water which it's still hard now this isn't a worst case mummification um, you likely shouldn't use this on something that is like really really stuck on but as you can see here it really took that stuff off there's a couple little pieces here, which are a little more stubborn, but that will come off. Same with this leg here. Here's one of the joints. You can see it stuck on there. It is literally wiping off with my finger. So the claim that hydrogen peroxide does not remove mummified flesh is false. It actually does. Um, this is by soaking. It will soak it off. So I'm just going to do up a Mujubak's leg here, and as you can see, there's the nice clean bone, and there's the part of the bone that still has mummified flesh and dirt, sand, and all sorts of gross stuff, and hey, some hair still stuck on it. So, yeah, you can use peroxide to take this kind of mummification off. If it's full skin, you might have to macerate it a bit, but why not try to soften it with the peroxide? That bubbling action of the peroxide will help to lift some of that dirt. And there it is. But as you can see, it does remove mummification and it does remove dirt. So I'm just going to finish cleaning up his toe bones. I have all of his little toe bones in that jar. Clean them up, then flip the bones over and put those ends in the peroxide for another couple days and see how it goes. It's been five days since a Mujibox last leg was in the peroxide. Um, earlier in the clip I showed you this one, but then you saw this other end going into the peroxide. So this shows you how that was. So I'm going to pull them out. You can see there it still looks a little dark because it's been in the water, but that stuff comes off relatively easy. It's just a matter of giving it a little scrub, and that is very clean. It's not whitened yet. It'll take it a little bit in the light to lighten that up, but the stuff is off. So peroxide does clean the stuff off using a maceration-like process where it soaks the mummified gunk off. Now, as I said, this probably won't work as well on something that is really mummified. Like if you just have a little bit of flesh like what I had here, it'll work great. But if you have a completely mummified leg, that's not going to work. You are going to have to use a warm water soak to get that off and possibly some scrubbing. So anyway, I'm going to finish up with the rest of the Mujibak's leg. That one turned out really well. That little bit right there, that sand and dirt, 
it just wipes off of a light wipe. So yeah, anyway, this shows you that peroxide does take off dirt and mummified flesh from bones.